Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Funny enough, back to talk about CCC again. <laughs> but this time on the NA side, as the main interlude for CCC is coming out, aka Abyssal Cyber Paradise Seraph, I'm going to be talking about it. So that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. If you do, leave a like. Helps the channel a whole bunch. Helps me a whole bunch, and I appreciate it a whole bunch. Uh, comment down below about what your plans are for this specific thing, and yeah, let's get into it. And subscribe to me, I guess, if you want. <laughs> if you want, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, so anniversary, chances are, isn't until the 6th, which is still two weeks and one, two, three, three days away. So, to be expected. Next is the CCC main interlude because we don't have enough time to do the comma rerun because I think the comma rerun takes about three weeks but, but I don't know that also makes it sound like no I thought it was two weeks I don't know either way it takes too long so we don't have time to do it in the time before anniversary comes so I guess that means they might be doing the rerun after anniversary after Castoria I guess but anyway, this one lasts from June 21st to 27th. If you don't know what main interludes are, basically they're bringing back an old event. There's about 5,000 other events that came out in between CCC that have not been returned to the game, but they figured, hey, this one actually has important story stuff, so we're going to include it, and that's why it was included. So if you don't know, main interlude is this, and in order to unlock it, you need to clear Solomon. And it's also broken down by day. So main quest act one will unlock on 621. That's the same day as act two. Act three, it's the next day. Act four, it's the next day. And finally, we have the final day, which is the next day. And then it's just kind of like that. And basically, this is your way to get the campaign while it's free. So you have some main interlude quest here. We have some stuff that you can do here. It's pretty simple compared to what it usually is. There's a quest shop. There's wanted quests. They do as much as they can to rep represent the event, even though the event itself is... Uh, there was no way they'd be able to do the entire... If you did not play this event when it came out, there was like a whole gigantic two-sided board of a giant woman, and you just can't do that. I guess we're... I actually wonder if it's going to be here. I actually don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. In the Da Vinci Workshop, you can buy it for five. You can then also exchange her. Exchangeable only after you clear Abyss Cyber Paradise Seraph quests. Four. At the cost of two. So. Game costs, new rank up quests are also coming out. We have Metalurus. Melt. She gets an upgrade, which increases attack three turns. Apply a state that increases your crit strength before dealing normal attack damage three turns. Three times added and increases defense uh, three turns. Demerit for herself. King Protea, huge scale, applies infinite growth to yourself, which applies growth. Increase your max HP strengthened and NP attack resist up growth affected by growth removal added. Each turn for 10 turns, up to 10 growth and MP attack resist up. Growth can be stacked. And then we have Suzuku, I think that's how you pronounce her name, Gozen, and she deals heavy, it's a buff to her MP, which deals heavy damage to all enemies, strengthened, increases your crit strength for 3 turns, effect increased with overcharge and increased MP gain for yourself added as well. So, pretty good buffs in general. I think the Melt one is probably the best one because it's Melt, but the King Protea one is pretty good as well, and Suzuku is Suzuku. This is, a, this is nice stuff to add for sure, so, in general. Good stuff. Now, summoning campaign. This is this is the part of the video where I tell you, hey, don't summon. Anniversary is literally like, as I said, two weeks and a couple days later. I wonder how long does this banner go for? This banner ends on the fourth, so in theory, before. Right before our anniversary. That's uh, that's mean to a lot of people. Yeah. So Melt is good. Obviously, I like Melt. In the beginning, she was very bad. And over time, they've given her enough buffs to make her amazing. Much better than she was at launch. And she's, I believe, single target quick. 
That is correct. So, fantastic for quick. She's also alter ego, so she's going to be good against the brighter classes, such as Rider, Caster, and Assassin, and bad against <laughs> the other ones. So, pretty good. I was always, I was never able to get Melp, which is a shame because if you actually play the event, by the end of it, you will want Melp, just because it's the most, it's the greatest, most manipulative story out there. It's how Fago gets their kicks, basically, is that they make you like them in the story, so, and then they make them a five star, and then they make them impossible for you to get, and then you lose all your money, and then you're divorced, and you're, everything's bad, and then, yeah. And funny enough, that did happen to a guy on the JP side. You hear horror stories of JP dudes who, like, put a loan out of their house or sold their car in order to try and get their PNGs, and then it didn't work out. Terrible stuff. But anyway, this banner has also a lip, Suzuku, and Kimbrotia. All of them are limited, so very hard to get by. If you are looking to summon for them, you should try your best to do a summon on one where they are featured. If you, I know you can look at two servants, two five stars SSRs at the same time and say like, oh man, doesn't that mean it's a better chance of getting at least one of them? And the answer is no, not really. <laughs> it doesn't really work that way. It just kind of manipulates your mind. The chances of you getting an SSR are the same. The only difference is that now, if you do get an SSR, it's a 50-50 coin shot if it is going to be a featured unit it's basically going to be between one of them two and the chances of it being the one you don't want are pretty high so if you are going to summon at least try to summon on one where it's the specific girl you want be it protea or melt and go forward if you are a big fan of both of them and you don't want to summon because literally castoria is two weeks away and this is the biggest bait that they could throw out before anything uh do what i do and just completely ignore the summon just like log in, do your dailies, leave. Thankfully, the dailies only go about a week. So in this case, you jump in, do the interlude, be done, and then boom. Um, yeah, it's the best, <laughs> the best advice I got for you on this one. So yeah, it's a very simple event. You should obviously do it, because if you do it now, you won't have to pay for You won't have to actually pay for Seraph. This is really only for the people who show up after Seraph is done. Um, yeah. 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 It's two weeks away, man. It's not a lot. I'm actually going to be curious what they do next week, because there's nothing. <laughs> there's no, nothing they could really release. Unless they want to release the Bunyan rerun, I think, early, which I think was a part of Anniversary, but they might end up releasing that early just so we have something to do for a week. Or maybe they drop some half prices of stuff and let you move forward. Oh, additionally, all Arc 1. Okay, all specifically only Arc 1. That unfortunately doesn't apply to me. But yeah, good luck to you out there. It's, we're getting real close. If you're still saving, hold on tight. I know it's pretty damn tempting looking at this, but... You literally just gotta hold on for at least two weeks and five days more, man. You've made it this far. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Have a good night. Peace out.